Hello, this is Steve with Brown Castle Games sharing a quick tutorial how to play Crokinol. For a two-player game, start with two colors of 8 or 12 discs. Sit across from your opponent. For three players, start with three colors of 8 discs. For four players, start with two colors of 6 discs and sit across from your teammate. Let's demonstrate the rules with a two-player example. For scoring, the center hole is worth 20 points. The center ring is worth 15 points. The middle ring is worth 10 points, and the outer ring is worth 5 points. Discs touching a line are worth the lesser of the two point values. If a disc is touching the outside boundary line, move it into the gutter before the next player's turn. Discs in the gutter are worth 0 points. To decide who goes first, hide one of each colored disc and ask your opponent to choose a hand. That player starts. To start, place one of your discs on the quadrant's shooting line. If there is no opponent's disc on the board, flick your disc into the center of the board. One of your discs involved in the shot must at least touch the 15-point line or remain inside the 15-point line. This is a valid shot within the 15-point ring and it would remain on the board. Let's look at another example. Here is a valid shot where the disc is touching the 15-point line. If it goes in the 20-hole, remove the disc and set it in a 20-holder to be scored at the end of the round. If there are no opponent's discs on the board and your shot does not land within the 15-point line, remove it to the gutter. Only one of the discs involved with the play has to land within the 15-point ring, so this is a valid shot. In this example, neither disc involved in the play is within the 15-point ring, so both are removed from the board. When an opponent's disc is on the board, the rules are different. You must instead hit one of your opponent's discs with one of your discs. Shoot at your opponent's disc with the goal of knocking their disc out of play and leaving your disc on the board. If you hit an opponent's disc, then all of your discs will remain on the board as they are. But if you shoot and miss your opponent's disc, move your disc to the ditch along with any of your other discs that you hit this turn. In this example, because neither of your discs that were involved in the play hit the teal disc, both are removed and go to the gutter. This is a valid shot because only one of your discs involved in the play has to hit an opponent's disc. This is a valid shot, but don't forget to remove any disc touching the outer boundary line before the next player takes their turn. Let's go ahead and play an example round. Remember, you can start anywhere along your quadrant's shooting line, and with no opponent's discs on the board, we want to land within that center ring. So that is a valid shot. Now player 2 has to hit the white disc in order to make a valid shot, so that goes to the gutter. So when a 20 is scored, remove the disc and place it in the 20 holder to be scored at 20 points at the end of the round. Turns proceed clockwise around the board until all players have run out of discs. You will then determine who scores points this round. Remember, only one of the discs involved in the play has to hit an opponent's disc. Because that disc did not hit an opponent's disc, it is removed from play to the gutter. There are two ways to keep scoring Crokinole, tournament or traditional. In traditional scoring, Determine each team's score and award the difference in points to the winner. Only one team will score points in a round, and the first team to 100 points wins the match. Alternatively, tournament scoring awards the winner of the round two points. In the case of a tie, both teams earn one point. The first team to 10 points wins the match. I want to thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, send an email to steve at browncastlegames.com.